In this video, we'll see how to delete a file which is already created. We can delete a file using FSO file system object. So you can see, first I'll show you the file which I've already created into some location and uh, this is the file. Yeah, the file name is the notepad file that is demo and it's a notepad file text document. See the location that is E drive and E drive I have demo.txt. So what I'll do is I have written here a code. How do you delete a file using file system object? So very first thing is I have put the address and the location, everything of the file into one variable that is file one. I'll use this file one variable in my entire code here. So now very first thing is I need to create an instance of the object set FSO is an instance. This is the method you can create an object, create object scripting dot file system object. Now first thing is I'll check whether the file is present or not at that location. So if it is present, then only I can delete it. So if FSO dot file exists, okay, and that's a location file one given equal to true. If the file exists, then what you have to do is you have to FSO dot delete file. And this is the file which you have to delete. And finally, I've said as end if, right? That's done here. So now let us see if I execute what will happen. First thing is I'll show you the file again. That's a file which is here. And now if I click on this run button, the file should be deleted from that location. So I'll just click on this run button. Yeah, so it has been passed. Let me see the folder, what has happened to the folder again. Okay, now you can see there's no file at this location and it has been deleted itself, right? So I hope you're able to understand how do you delete a file. Instead of this notepad file, you can delete any file and you can delete Excel, Word, PowerPoint, any extension file with the help of this command itself. So I hope you're able to understand how do we delete a file using file system object. That's all for this video.